Hello, and welcome to this video on isinglass. Warning, this video contains some chemistry. Isinglass is a clearing agent for beer and other beverages. It is made from the dried swim bladders of fish. It is particularly derived from the Nile perch or cod, which are generally considered an invasive species. It is generally termed a finding or clarifying agent. As it is a naturally occurring product derived from fish, it has a certain level of repugnance to people. This is exemplified by the Food Babe, who made an article linked to below about it and other additives. Despite this, it remains a useful tool for the home brewer, even more so for the home brewer who wishes to keep their beer and wine as natural as possible. There are even organic variants available if you are inclined that way. As a clearing agent, isinglass attracts and binds with free floating particles such as yeast, undigested sugar and waste. After this, it gains weight and sinks to the bottom of the fermenting vessel. This keeps the upper liquid free of any particles which might lead to haze, cloudiness, or be left over, and remain as waste. Given what it is made from, and the effect isinglass has, you might wonder how it works. This is a practical application of several ideas. The first is electron charge. The positive charge of finding agents leads to a covalent bond with other compounds in the brew. This is important to remember, as isinglass is a protein. As a protein, it can be denatured if left to its own devices at too high a heat. Anything above 20 degrees centigrade will do that over time. Anything above 50 degrees will start immediately. The pH of the brew will alter this figure considerably. This is based on alcohol, acids, and other concentrations. Glucose, if undigested, is an electronegative compound. As the finding agents are electropositive, the two are attracted to each other and they aggregate. As a consequence, the isinglass method has several advantages in aged beer and wine. As an example, lag that is stored in barrels and kegs may be moved during its lifetime. Before it is consumed, the isinglass is free from electrochemical binding as it has been moved and shaken and otherwise disrupted. It is then free to bind to the other contaminants again. This keeps an aged and stored brew fresh and clear for longer. Isinglass acts through the same mechanism as gelatin would, being a largely collagen-based substance. The powdered or liquid isinglass is added to the brew. The brew is mixed slightly to ensure the isinglass is distributed across the wash. From here, it sits in suspension while the local elements of negatively charged material bind with it. This increases in mass until it starts to sink, at which point it settles on the bottom of the fermenter. Isinglass is an old method of removing contaminants from beer and wine. There is some question as to its first application. There is a suspicion that a practical fisherman used a bladder to store beer in as a measure of thrift. This combined with the acidic beer to clarify the in the bladder. This would have been seen and noted and considered a more efficient method eventually superseding alternatives and being developed into the modern approach. Isinglass can be explained by a Stokes law. This law essentially states that the larger the radius, the quicker contaminant will settle to the bottom of a brew. The difference in particle volume and brew density will increase the rate at which settling occurs. And finally, the greater the pull of gravity, the faster it settles. For these reasons, isinglass is used in a cold environment after the brewing is done. This decreases the energy of the brew and results in the whole process having less potential energy. This increases the rate of settling. To put it in context of Stokes' law, this essentially increases the radius of the isinglass and creates a quicker de-energizing of the contaminants. This removes the need for a difference in particle volume as the density of this solution is decreased through the lower energy rating of the isinglass and contaminant aggregate. This aggregate also increases the first point by increasing the radius. Increasing the radius is done through a greater mass, and greater mass has a greater effect from the pull of gravity. This results in an overall faster settling. Some isinglass variants are pre-made and prepared. These are distinct from others by the inclusion of an acid component. The acid affects the process of finding by increasing the difference in the polarity of the solution. Take the following example. There are three samples before you. 
one base, one neutral, and one acidic. The brewer is trying to remove a mostly glucose-rich haze. The basic solution will decrease the free electrons, and as a result, the positive charge of the finding agents by binding to it before it can bind to the glucose, or if it does so, it will compete for the position. This will lead to a fight or interruption and ineffective selection of the contaminants by the Isen glass. The next neutral solution will have a combination of results and be largely unpredictable and unreliable. The final solution is acidic. The acid solution will free the finding agents up from any of the targets and only affect the target glucose because of its size and greater polarity. Further, it changes the surface polarity of other compounds which previously had a positive or neutral charge by drawing off electron charges. This creates a more negatively charged compound, and from this, isinglass can interact with it and it increasingly settle out with a wider range of compounds that it previously could not. And this is why pre-made isinglass often comes with an acidic component. It also helps in storage and stability in the long term from a commercial view point of view. Alternatives to isinglass are gelatin, cold settling, and calcium. The above is no means an exhaustive description of this in glass, but addresses some of the points made about its use and purpose, further explaining the concept of clearing with this in glass, and hopefully helps in your understanding. Thank you for watching this video. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions you may have below.